Welcome back to Fan Talk. Today we're going to be uh, reviewing a small little indie movie that's coming out towards the... Not reviewing because it's not out yet, but <laughs> start over. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I already did that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Fan Talk. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a small movie coming out uh, around Christmas. Yeah, um, it's kind of an indie movie. Uh, well, at least the first one kind of was. Uh, <laughs> uh, I- it's going to be the uh, new Star Wars movie, yeah, Episode Nine. So a teaser has come out, and uh, so we're going to give it a little watch here and uh, see what we think. If it's going to be as epic as we're expecting, and see if they can make up from uh, the Han Solo movie. <laughs> I actually like the Han Solo movie. Breathing. The Jakku running the planet. We've passed on all we know. Could be Tatooine. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your find. Definitely a teaser, letting this build up. <laughs> you know who that is. Yep. <laughs> Palpatine. Yeah, it looks good. Rise of Skywalker. And it's not Rise of a Skywalker. No. It's, uh, See, now that's, like, I actually have some information about this film. And so it's like, uh, it's called Rise of Skywalker. So just real quick on that teaser, they don't give away a lot. No. I mean, it was really a lot of you're staring at desert. There wasn't a whole lot to react to because it's a, until the end there. I mean, it's like even with of, um, uh, even with Kylo Ren coming uh, at uh, uh, coming at her in the desert, and if she's running away, then she does a crazy flip up onto it. You don't know if she's fighting him or getting on for a ride. You don't yeah, know what I the mean, situation is. But the situation is, but it's called the Rise of Skywalker. So you're feeling like he's going to have like a major part in this, even though he became one with the Force in the last film. Um, I guess the only Skywalker left at this point would be Kylo, unless there's some crazy Rey uh, parentage involved that they're going to release. Yeah, I mean, there's just no telling. I do know, um, I was watching some uh, some videos. There's a video with Kevin Smith, of all people, and he was actually got to go visit the set, and he is saying that the final scene of this movie is literally going to melt your mind, and that... Um, there was a whole lot of talk, and they were going to let him go and look at it. And inevitably, he decided not to go see it because he wanted to be surprised when it comes out. Fair enough. But apparently, the the very last scene of this movie is just stellar, and this film supposedly is going to blow us all away. Which to me is big words because, as far as I'm concerned, Rogue One still takes the cake when it comes to the new Star Wars films. I love the and even watching this trailer or this teaser, I was reminded again of it. But I love the cinematography in these new ones. It feels a lot more epic, uh, just you know, great shots and everything. But I guess by having uh, different people involved in um, the 
number seven and eight. Uh, they just felt like different movies and felt like they go in two different directions. And it's interesting, be interesting to see how they tie those back together without creating too many loose ends, I hope. Yeah. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm a big fan of Star Wars movies, always have been. I'm glad that Disney has it um, because we're getting more content. And out of it, you're going to get some gems and you're going to get some, uh, I mean, because even the new series, which was done by George Lucas, uh, Again, love them, but going back and comparing them to the originals, it's... Probably uh, the prequels. Yeah, the prequels. Yeah. It's kind of a letdown. A lot of people were uh, expecting something a lot more, a little different than what you ended up getting. And though they're still great films, you love to go back and watch them, uh, the original in my mind still stands out. That, though, is one of the things I have loved about Rogue One. I mean, I would put Rogue One on par with Empire Strikes Back is possibly the best Star Wars movie. I mean, it was good. I loved that film. It was fantastic. I did love it. It was a good movie. Um, I didn't dislike uh, the Han Solo movie. Uh, it felt like it was unneeded, but at the same time, it was. There's nothing bad about it. It's just it's no, kind of I mean, like it's just kind of in the middle at that point. It's yeah, like well, it, didn't, it's, it didn't open up anything new really, other than showing us some old adventures. And we're gonna get a lot of Star Wars films like that from here on out. Uh, I mean, even some of these new series coming out on Disney Plus, which I think are gonna be great. Um, I don't know how much they they're gonna have tie-ins to the original stories here and there, but it's not necessarily stories that we need as much as they're enjoyable. Uh, it's kind of fun to see Han Solo when he was younger, yeah, and and to see how. That character became who that who he is I always in the about, Star Wars movies. I was always wondering about the dice. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> the Kessel Run, the whole part yeah. about that, you know, and and also just his swagger. I mean, because yeah. uh, well, and everyone did a great job. I mean, he really did evoke uh, Han Solo. Um, uh, Lando was done very well. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so I mean, it's all done very well. It, it, it's not, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying you know, it, was, it wasn't I, it wasn't I, up to the you know the Rogue One. Yeah, I, I just enjoyed it because I enjoyed how it showed. Those relationships, like you saw how uh, Lando and Han Solo, how they kind of become friends and where that whole rivalry yet friendship, friend of me. yeah, friend of me comes from. And it kind of started building on that character that, you know, if they do make another solo movie, uh, you know, or they touch into some other, other Star Wars movies, like the scene with uh, our favorite bad guy from the prequel who oh, got Darth cut Maul. in half. Yeah, Darth Maul. Well, that was a fan service to the uh, Clone Wars. It uh, was. And then if you watch the Clone Wars, it touches on a lot of it. But there's been talk that Disney is going to release film that kind of ties in a lot of that. Well, but hopefully I, after the, uh, the showing that Solo had, they pull back a lot of those projects. I'm looking forward to seeing what they decide to keep going. But this next movie, uh, circling back around, will be kind of the linchpin to see how well if it does very well then Disney would be more likely to keep pushing out Star Wars uh, content yeah. if it does so-so then maybe not yeah. but I don't think anyone's expecting this not to do well uh, the main Star Wars films have done phenomenal in the box office um, but as much as I love them I am ready to see the Star the Skywalker arc conclude uh, this is you know three trilogies about the same family I feel you got a whole galaxy of stories out there let's kind of move around a little bit uh, yes and no I mean for me as a fan I mean the whole thing is is that Luke Skywalker was the most powerful Jedi in, in, in Star Wars canon lore I mean he, he was the man you know and, and uh, the, when Disney took over they did away with a lot of the other stuff the books and stuff that were really basically kind of considered canon for a Star Wars story that all got washed away when Disney took over now it's the extended universe yeah, yeah, it's or... extended you know, when Disney started taking over and I know that me personally, I'm one of those fans that was a little butt hurt when this new trilogy came out because it's gotten away from so much of the books trying to create something new when there was some really, really good content there that they could have used. Uh, Grand well, Admiral Thorn and, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in there that would have been great. It, but it instead, really we, we have this. And, we have this. Uh, the, um, the first one uh, was, even though it was retread a lot of ground from A New Hope and story-wise... It was phenomenal uh, for what it did and introducing new characters and all that and setting up the new world. And it really had fun with it. The uh, Last Jedi, uh, the last one, um, I personally think it had a lot of problems, especially with the story and structure. Um, yeah. Uh, you, know, you know, nothing like uh, Mary Poppins flying through space. <laughs> uh, this had some issues there. And I'm hoping that they, they bring it back around and, you know, have a good little uh, conclusion to it rather than having it being open-ended. Uh, they obviously... Uh, 
uh, Mark Hamill's going to be inv- is involved in this to some degree, maybe it's Force Ghost or voiceover, uh, something like that nature. Um, they have some ar- uh, archive footage of a Carrie Fisher I think they can use uh, as needed. So I'm looking forward to seeing how much of them they're going to put in here. Yeah. And uh, they've uh, been taking care of, and also now Lando, since going through the old characters, they yeah. finally got uh, Billy D. Williams back as yeah. Lando, so hopefully they don't kill off another main character <laughs> this time. <laughs> well, I mean, I think I think... I've enjoyed these movies, and I'm really excited about this one. I think that uh, with it being called The Rise of Skywalker, I, I really feel like maybe it's going to have a lot of that involved and that I'm going to really enjoy it. But I will say that I've been a little let down about his character in this new series so far. So hopefully they close off strong. Yeah, and actually that's one of the things I've been less concerned about is how they handled Luke last time. I mean, I get the, the issues that a lot of people have had with how they handled it. I've thought through that, and I don't see it as much. And I'm looking forward to doing kind of a really full breakdown of Star Wars when this gets closer to coming out, and we can really kind of go in depth Dig on that. Dig into but, it, yeah. But um, I felt that um, it was an interesting arc to have the character go through. I, I wasn't particularly upset by that. In The Last Jedi, I was more concerned about plot holes on the, uh, <laughs> on the space battles. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a, a fun uh, uh, movie. I'm looking forward to the full trailer coming out. I haven't seen anything about when that's going to be dropping, but it's uh, beginning of August now. The movie comes out in December, December. so maybe in the next month or two we might yeah. see a full trailer. And we'll see what movies are coming out soon because they always drop it with a powerful film. So we'll see what's coming out. Also, D4, uh, uh, Disney's convention is uh, coming up pretty soon, too. That might be the yeah, place to look. That might be a good place, yeah. But once we see it, uh, you guys will see it. So uh, thanks for tuning in to Fan Talk, and we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.